Let's take a look at a volume. So volume problems can be a problem area on the exam for a lot of students. Um, so we're going to look at the three most common ones. All right. So first one is rectangular solid. Okay. So that just means that it's a box, right? And this is really the simplest one. So if we see a rectangular box, then it's just length times width times height. And they'll give you all three of those. And it'll just say solve for volume. So rectangular solid, volume equals length times width times height. So as a quick example, say they say length eight, width four, height six, right? Then we just have to go multiply them together. Pretty simple. Eight times four is thirty-two times six one ninety-two. Okay, so that's the first one. Rectangular solid. Uh, pretty straightforward, um, and definitely the easiest one. Okay, so with these formulas, you really have to be able to memorize them, right? So you need to put in the time so that you have these formulas memorized because they're not going to give you the formula on the exam. All right, second one, cylinder equals pi r squared h, okay? So again, it's a formula that you have to know. You're going to see a cylinder question most likely, right? and they're going to give you the height and the radius. So in this example, we have height equals 12, radius 7. Okay, once you know the formulas, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to plug this stuff in, right? So if we're looking at this one, pi r squared h, pi right there, what's the radius? 7 squared times 12, yeah? Okay, then all I have to do, again, drop pi down here. I don't ever have it be like 3.14, keep it at pi. Uh, 7 squared is 49 times 12, what's that math, right? Uh, 49 times 12 is 588 times pi. Whoop, did it wrong. Pi usually goes at the end of the number. Might as well do it right. 588 pi, all right, so that's a, a good cylinder question. Um, we wanna do another example. Okay, just to make sure we're comfortable with cylinder. Um, so what if it said height equals six, and instead of radius, they gave you a diameter. Diameter is four. Okay, so that, this will happen a bunch where they'll give you diameter and you're solving for radius. What it's, some, it's in circle problems, but it'll show up elsewhere, uh, like for volume or surface area. Um, anywhere where you need to find radius. So we know that we should know that diameter is twice radius. Right, so that means radius in this question is going to be 2, right? Height is still going to be 6. Okay, so now we have height 6, radius 2. Now we're ready to go solve. So we have um, pi times 2 squared times 6, right? That makes sense to everybody, right? We've got the 2 from right here with the radius. Put that in. It's squared like we show up top with our uh, formula times height which is six, right? So now if we keep doing this one, we have pi, two squared is four times six, right? Four times six is 24, 24 pi. Okay, so that's a look at uh, volume of cylinders. And one more one that comes up a lot. Cube. Okay. Again, this is volume, right? So a cube equals uh, the length of the edge to the third power, right? So that the length of the edge is always going to be the same on all parts of a cube. This is a square, basically, all sides equal. Uh, so pretty uh, easy, right? So if they say edge equals five, let's say. Supposed to be an E. Right? If they say edge is 5, then all we're doing is 5 to the third, which equals 125, right? 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. 
there would be your answer. Like they gave us a side was three, three to the third is 27, right? Three times three is nine, nine times three, 27.